welcome students and viewers in today lecture we are going to learn the concept of encapsulation and decapsulation which is an important concept in the protocol layering in the internet here is a brief uh, outline for this presentation we are going to start with the learning objective and then encapsulation at the source host we will see encapsulation as well as decapsulation at the intermediate node router and finally decapsulation at the destination host the outcome is that at the end of this short lecture you would be able to understand the concept of encapsulation and decapsulation at the source at the destination and at the intermediate devices this figure actually represent a broader view of the process of encapsulation and decapsulation you can see at the source host we have encapsulation at the destination hope we have host we have the decapsulation while at the router we do have the both encapsulation and then decapsulation first let us see encapsulation at the source host encapsulation actually happens at the source host how first let me say what is encapsulation 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 is actually the process by which different layers of the tcp ip model add extra information with the message or you can say it can add different headers or trailer to the message okay we will see it in a moment first let us consider our message remember we have five layers the first layer from the top is the application layer where it provide an interface to the user so at the application layer the data to be exchanged is known as message a message normally does not contain any header or any trailer or any additional information or no encapsulation is here at the application layer so normally a message is passed to the transport layer so at the application layer we have the message then at the second layer the transport layer it actually receive the message as a payload the message that the transport layer received from the application layer is known as the payload and then what the transport layer do the transport layer actually add a header to this payload this header represented by the number four it could be like identifiers of the source and destination application program that want to communicate remember the communication is between different processes and each process has a unique identifier so what is the identification of the source process and what is the identification of the destination process that information is added by the transport layer in its header represented by 4 and this process is known as encapsulation beside from adding identifier some extra information is also needed for end-to-end -end delivery of the message such as uh, for example information needed for flow control for error control and for congestion control the basic functionality provided by this transport layer so it is added in this header the result in the transport layer packet remember that is known as a segment or datagram at the transport layer the message is referred to a segment or datagram depending on the protocol that we are using at the transport layer so this segment and datagram contain the actual message as well as additional information added by the transport layer and then the transport layer passes the packet to the network layer which is the third layer the network layer takes the transport layer packet is data or you can say is a payload okay now this is the message received from the transport layer along with the header and then here uh, it actually added its own header 
and the header of the transport layer is represented by 3 here. So this is actually the header added by the transport layer or encapsulation happening at the source host. So this header will contain the addresses of the source and destination hosts. Remember here the identification was the processes that want to communicate. Here the identification is about the systems that want to communicate. Okay, So this header will contain identification of the source host as well as the destination host. And also it will contain some extra information for error checking of the header, fragmentation information and so on. So the result is that the network layer packet and at the network layer the packet is referred to as datagram. Now the network layer will uh, will pass this packet to the next layer, layer which is the data link layer. Now the data link layer will receive the packet, the datagram from the network layer as a data or you can say as a payload and what will do it will add its own header which contains link layer addresses of the host or the next hub like the router and the result here is a link layer packet which is known as a frame and then the frame is passed to the physical layer for transmission now here we don't have any uh, extra header or trailer added to the packet to the message to the payload so the, the the packet is transmitted bit by bit in the form of signals by the transmission medium so this process which happen at the source node is known as encapsulation let's see what's happening at the the at the router the intermediate device at the router remember we have both the decapsulation and the encapsulation now the question is why we have both the encapsulation and decapsulation at the router because the router is connected to two or more links so what will happen here after the set of bits are delivered to the data link layer this layer actually here this will uh, decapsulate the datagram from the frame and then it will pass it to the network layer you see now it re re remove the data link layer header you see here we don't have the header this process is actually known as decapsulation the removing of the extra information from the message from the payload from the data is known as decapsulation and it happens at the router and then at the network layer at the router what will happen the network layer will only inspect the source and destination addresses which is mentioned in the header 3. What is the source address? What is the destination address in the datagram header? And then it will consult it forwarding table. Remember routers have forwarding table to find the next hope to which the datagram is to be delivered. And then the datagram is passed to the data link layer of the next of the next link. Now the data link layer of the next link will do the encapsulation process again. You see here the data link layer with eight extra information in the form of the header and this process is known as encapsulation. So the data link layer of the next link will encapsulate the datagram in a frame and again it will pass it to the physical layer for transmission. So at the router we do have the decapsulation and encapsulation and finally decapsulation at the destination host so here it is simple process each layer only decapsulate the packet it receives and it will remove the headers from the payload and will deliver the payload to the next higher layer protocol until the message reaches to the application layer so we receive the bits from the transmission medium at the physical layer that is handed over to the data link layer and the data link layer will remove the header here then the network layer will remove its own header the transport layer will remove its own header and the message will be delivered to the application and it will be displayed to the to the user to the appropriate process so this is the process of decapsulation at the host 
and this was the story of encapsulation and decapsulation at the sender at the receiver and at the intermediate router thank you so much take care and goodbye